normal is like, uh, yeah, her stance is a lot more like Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA style thing. She, you know, isn't exactly like one discipline. She kind of, you know, will use whatever to win. But um, yeah, so she does use her gauntlets and uh, she has another power that I guess is pretty different from the MKX where she has augmented legs. So uh, you can see that in a couple of her combo strings and special. So now she's got well. full robo legs. Uh, there, there's a uh, there's flesh there. Okay, you know? okay. It's not still little human. Yeah, it's it's more just augmented. It's not robotic. Okay. Um, but yeah, she definitely uses it in a lot of uh, normal attacks and special moves. Yes. So let's start talking about some key normals. One of the coolest things is actually her sweep breaks the norm. It's two hitting. Yeah. It's low low. Yep. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks it really also cool. looks really cool. I also um, like a lot of her jump attacks. I think they look really neat and unique as well. We yeah, I that. really like the cell yeah. drop. Yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite string personally is her 4-3. It's an advancing normal. And then I just love this two-player animation thing here. Big fan of two-player animation. Here. My favorite uh, string of hers is the one that, that puts the, the kick that makes you kick her head then on the ground. Yes. Yeah. This is actually one of her crushing blows. It's a counter hit. If you attack them while they are trying to attack you. You bop them in the head, bop, and then you get a combo starter. So that's another example of way to extend combos is a lot of crushing blows. And you can kind of cash in. Like what I mean is like if you block Sub-Zero slide, which is punishable, mm. you can use that. And then once per game, you're going to get that big juicy combo. And I think people were worried earlier when, when they heard about how many crushing blows there were. Um, it'd be tough to kind of remember, but like as I play the game, I knew every single thing that I needed to do during that match yes. to get those to come out. And once you play long, it, it happens. As Ed recently said, they will be in the move list. Yes. We're going to have the requirements in there. I just knew like when I was playing some of my characters, this is exactly what I had to be searching for. Yes. Um, another one of the key ones is back to two, which I'm pointing out because I absolutely love the particle effects. Fair. And she does that kind of lunge towards me as well, right? Yes. A little hop. So yeah, um, she does have that. That's mainly like her main thing that she'll use at longer range, but most of her attacks are pretty close range. She's yes. more of a in-your-face type character. I um, would definitely say it's comparable to Sonya, where she's she's not using a long range web. She is not the kind of prototypical, they have really good range at mid-range and all that. She needs to get in, but her pressure is really good to make up for that, which we're going to talk about. Which we would, I guess we'd probably say, I mean, definitely there are players who played Jackie in the last game uh, up close, but like, yes. They're, they're, I mean, even, even some of the frustration with some of the early Jackies was was her range. And it's been a definite redesign on how Jackie works for this game. Yeah, she she's one of the characters that, to me, is almost a new character. Like, about 80% of her has been re redesigned. Yeah. So, one of the big normals I think we definitely want to talk about is 4-2-2. Two, two. So, 4-2, you can see it's kind of an uppercut. It's okay. But if you do it really rapidly, you actually get this one. So, kind of talk about your philosophy behind that move. Uh, yeah, that kind of is a throwback to... Uh, she had a special normal called uh, Stanky Leg in MKX. <laughs> uh, nice job, Derek. Um, where she... Uh, if you input uh, the attack... Uh, really quickly, you'd get a different, uh, you know, hit basically, and it was kind of a more advanced thing. It wasn't the yeah. easiest thing. To yeah, yeah, it was. It took Tyler over 50 tries. That's I actually just true. Yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah. But that is one of the things that we kind of brought back. Uh, obviously, I love that. obviously doesn't look uh, at all like how it did before, but the idea behind the attack is there in that move. And Jackie, overall, I think, is going to be one of the more in-depth, complex characters in the game. Uh, a lot of her special moves, they're not hard to do. It's not execution, it's she has a lot of interesting tools that are unique that I think we'll get to, that make her, I think a lot of the people that played Jack in the last game, that's what they liked about her. They're very much hipster players who love the, <laughs> no, I, I say that with, with, I think they would agree. Like very much, they were, it's a, it's a niche kind of character to play and we wanted to bring that back. We Not hard to play, like if you just think she looks cool, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna have some really cool stuff, but if you're into that, kind of cancels and mm -hmm. weird command grabs and stuff like that. We definitely Delivery. got you covered. Yeah. yeah. So let's go over she, special moves. She has some, I mean, I'm not going to give it away, but some mechanics that we've never done before. Yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. It's not difficult to do, but it's very, very unique. Yep. So her projectiles are sort of back. She can shoot at the ground and shoot up. And if she amplifies it, she can hold it and then do a straight one. And um, the difference being 
she now has different loadouts. Can you kind of explain that? Sure. Uh, so this is actually one of the different uh, uh, equipped um, shots. Uh, so this one is rockets, basically. When you shoot at the ground, it'll explode when it hits the ground. Uh, and then it'll knock them away, which we'll see other ones don't do that. As right. Each one has a different like uh, reaction the opponent will do when you hit them and have different ranges and uh, cause different effects. So yeah, there's, there's three different types of rocket, which you see here, and then we'll get to the other ones later. She also has Dash Punch, very similar to her, dad, her dad's attack. Really good range. This has a crushing blow, and this is a fun requirement. It's hitting it at max range. I think a little further, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fun to do. That one just feels good. Yeah, like, if, <laughs> you know, Sub-Zero goes for an uh, ice ball or something, and you read it, and you just bop him on the head. It, <laughs> That's good time. That's I mean, fun for the whole Briggs family. A lot of the crushing blows that kind of are like, all of a sudden happen as yes. a surprise, you're like, whoa! Like, yeah, it's, that. <laughs> it's super fun when you hear the enemy go, whoa! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, before I forget, I did. I just got a message from someone. Okay. Oh. We got we to do Kotal Khan's uh, Fatal Blow. Oh, After this, yeah, Mr. Aquaman is not. He's it's a good one. He's too. worried, and he's and he wants to see fatality too, which I think we can do both those. Well, does he not? Ha isn't that an indictment that he doesn't think I'll win? It's a good question. Or you could argue you won't see the fatal blow because I'll never be under thirty percent because I'm just that yeah. good. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, so she also has these mock kicks, which hey. I'm a huge fan of. These are super fun to do. Using her new cyber legs. This is her core combo starter. <laughs> It pops them up if you amplify it. If you don't amplify it, she just does a few kicks. Not nearly as exciting. But when you amplify it, you get a pop-up, and that's going to lead to all of her big combos. Right. And uh, you uh, hold it to yes. either do more kicks or do less kicks. Which or... is super fun to do. Yeah. So let's go over some loadout stuff. In this loadout, I gave her the Flying Knee, which is another advancing attack, great combo in it. You can meter burn it, or sorry, amplify it to do her dash punch. This also has a crushing blow. If you do a combo that's larger than eight hits, you can go into it and... I'm sure sure. Whistler complements very well with the Grease Kick. Ooh, that's a good one. Hey, look at that damage. So another thing I gave her, as we were talking about, different loadouts here. Oh wait, I'm still in default. Uh, this is a really cool one where she has a bunch of cancels. So, they are different than most cancels where she's actually just not doing, so this is the normal string. You go, she, she goes in that hook, she stops. This, unlike a lot of cancels, this does not take stamina. And she has about, what, three or four of these? Four of them, yeah. Uh, one cool thing too, she can do it off her sweep. So she has a double hitting sweep. So you can just not do the <laughs> second hit. So people expecting a double low, you can you know go for a throw or something. That is super cool. Pressure. Yeah, so, a lot of stuff I'll be really good at. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not hard at all. You can actually see this. I'm doing it every time, and I'm not good with Jackie and not good with ex execution. So this is one of the core ways that if you don't want her to be a grappler, you don't want to use the load I'm about to use, or you can mix and match. That this would be how, while her range is not the best. She does it the projectile, then when she gets in, she has that pressure. That's one of the key ways you can do it. If you like to use cancels, you like that execution stuff, you can go ham. Right. Yeah, it's it's not so much about super hard execution. Uh, it, you know, it's definitely not the easiest thing in the world, but you can get it down. Yeah. Um, but it's more so like just, you know, keeping it in mind as a player and as, you know, the opponent of, you know, oh, I, I can do this. You kind of have to be on guard. You have to be ready for more things. It's one of those. Alright, what else we got, Steve? Alright, loadout two. First off, I am a massive fan of this skin. This jacket. Oh, Steve, you're a fan of literally everything. No, look at this jacket. I want it. <laughs> Another hairstyle as well. Yep. Yeah, oh, the hair is super cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. All so, right. this one, I made a grappling one. First, I changed her guns. She now shoots plasma that oh. actually sits on the ground and does dot damage when they stand on it. So, it's totally different than the rockets. Like, you can see. It doesn't even physically hit the it's ground one really until cool it's on the ground, too. and all the effects are super good. So yeah, the ground one will always just hit the ground, but all the other ones, uh, if they touch the opponent before they touch the ground, it'll set them like on fire instead of the ground. I use this one because it totally complements her as a grappler. Like, it'll stay active while they're in the, in the grapple. So then I went with her clench, which this is, is a command grab. 
And so the way this works is you actually get multiple options. You get three attacks before they can break out. So you can see. It. She can do the knee. Total MMA style yes. clinch. And from here, she has three different options. She has these double knees. She has this toss, and so one throws you forward and one throws you back. And then she has this overhead ender. It's an elbow drop. And this has a really cool crushing blow requirement. So the requirement is you have to have done the other enders. So throughout the match, you'll be going for this. And then when you finally go for one, you get a crushing blow into a pop-up. Awesome. So this is a super fun crushing blow requirement. Throughout the match, you'll be going through it every chance you can. The opponent is going to know you're going through these different ones. And then when you have that third one loaded, then you're going to do hemma damage when you get the clench off. But you only have three attacks that you can do before they're going to break out. Right. It's also, yeah, one of those things where you have to kind of keep in mind, like, hey, am I close to the corner? Am I far away from the corner? Do I want to use the side swap one now to get that kind of out of the way so I can get the crushing blow next? Or do I want to keep pushing him towards the corner? So it's, it kind of adds to the... Yeah, it's a, it's a great point. Like, in this scenario where she wants to keep her cornered, if she's already done the one that keeps you in front, you might want to... Going for the crushing blow might not be worth getting them out of the corner and right. stuff. So yeah. that's a fun meta there. Then lastly, we gave her this really cool move, which is when she techs a throw, like, breaks out of it... I am totally mistiming that. Really badly. Wait for him to throw you. There you go. She can amplify and then go and do a throw herself, which we've never done before. I think this is this was the coolest moment in the trailer, in my opinion. So, Aaron, kind of describe the metagame of this, because there's actually two different ones she can do. So, basically, uh, her amplified uh, throw escape, uh, it just goes into a throw, which is just another throw. Like, the opponent can escape it, and she can uh, do either a punch version, which is the arm break, or a kick version, which is the leg break. There you go. Oh. Yeah. You're saying the opponent can break her yeah. break? They, so, so, if you, uh, I think I can. Yeah. She, she has to guess what throw you're going to do. She can then break out of it with one or two, amplify it, and then she does punch or kick to do a follow-up throw that they have to guess out of. And that actually has a crushing blow with the leg. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Either way, uh, <laughs> that is, uh, you know, throw escaping the... Uh, throw escaping the throw escape. Throw yeah, escape. Throw exactly. Throw escaping the throw escape. It's basically just, uh, you can think of it as just a throw goes into a throw. Right. And then that has a crushing blow set up for, you've previously done the arm break, then if you do the leg break, you'll actually get the crushing blow. So that'll play into... You know, again, do you have you already done the arm, and they're going to know you're going to go for the leg, and then they're going to start trying to break that one because they don't want to get their leg broken, and it goes into a hole. Right. It's more than a 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got next, Steve? All right, one more. One more. So this one is the mobility variation. Is this your favorite one? No, okay. the, the, the leg grab one is my favorite Just one. Making sure. I'm not going to lie. Although this outfit, hey, oh my god, sure, yeah, yeah. you love the last outfit. But this one, look at her shoes. Yeah, I mean. That, what I really love is she's got the heels on to look classy as hell, but they're still robot legs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. So in this one, she actually gets a super jump. It's anime AF, and she can do a <laughs> short version. <laughs> Thanks, Burke. <laughs> She can do attacks from it, normal attacks, special moves. I mean, you can kind of explain the the uh, application of a, of a super jump briefly. Right. It's uh, mainly it compliments her wanting to try and get in uh, towards the opponent. She doesn't have much in the way of options, long range. Um, so obviously, if the opponent's far away, they're not doing anything. They can see you come in, and you know they're gonna anti air you. But if you know, since you're just throwing ice balls. Uh, you're like, hey, I I'm gonna just jump over this ice ball full screen and right. <laughs> get in his face. So. so I also gave her this dive bomb, which is super fast, pretty good damage, and you can, again, like, if the opponent's zoning you out, you know. Can you do it off the super jump? You can. It's pretty awesome. And a ground pound, which is a low, and she can amplify that to go into two, and you can also do that off. Man, those effects are beautiful. Yeah, her stuff looks really, really cool. So lastly, let's go into her Fatal Blow. This has got to be one of the coolest in the game. This shot right here is 
ridiculous. It's really nice that she doesn't waste bullets because they come back. Yep. It's like oh, a, uh, she has to watch out for those, though. I bet. Mm -hmm. One more thing you can show really quick is that she has a regular, I think, uh, shot in this comeback one. Oh yes, you're right. I totally forgot about this. So this one you can see is kind of the standard one. It does not knock you down. She just you're just recover standing there in a slight reaction. Right, and uh, so you can use it. You know, when you're close, you do that. You'll be at advantage when you hit them. Keep them standing, type thing. And then you go into pressure. So this would be great to complement her command grab or the cancels, especially. Right. You know, just go into strings, keep standing, keep pressure up, go for a throw. So yeah, with her things, she has the dot damage one for traps, a restand one for pressure, a knockdown one for damage. Right. And you can kind of mix and match how you want. Awesome. That's Jackie Briggs, folks. Jackie Briggs. Amazing. So what do we got next? Real quick, I'll go to Codal and do the fatal blow. Uh, oh, yeah, good.